Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to this continuation of part 5 of the video series on building your own low tilt pedals. Now I've had to do this video uh, quickly because I realised last night that I'd forgotten to do something quite important um, in my part 5 video. Uh, but it also gives me an opportunity to thank everyone who so far commented and reacted to that video, which was really nice. Um, been lots of positive comments, lots of questions, just the sort of thing that's uh, that I like to see um, because it helps me define where this video series is going and obviously it's quite nice to be able to help people out and see that people are actually following along um, and doing their own pedals along with me. So uh, thanks for that, keep up the good work. Okay, so I forgot to go through how to calibrate these different sensors. Um, all these different versions of a potentiometer. I have done it in the previous video, um, but I thought I'd better do it here just for completeness. Um, so, what we need to use is DI view. Now I referred to this in the part five video. Um, but you can download it from Leo Bodnar and I will put a link to that um, in the video description and what it is is basically a way of calibrating uh, any axes that um, any joystick axes on the computer so if I plug in my Arduino and run the IV it will come up with all the axes that uh, are available and I've got the um, potentiometer on it just for ease a minute as you can see the throttle slider is moving with the potentiometer but I can already tell it's not calibrated properly because when I'm at zero I'm getting zero if I go halfway round less than halfway round I'm already at 100% throttle I've got a lot more to go so in order to calibrate it right mouse button on the window that you're interested in um, oops. Um, click view raw data and then if you move to zero and make a note of what the data value is so at the moment we've got minus 32,767 and then make a note of what the value goes to when you go to 100% on the pot so we've got minus 16,432 I'll just make a note of those so 100% is 16432 and 0 is minus 32767 now what we need, the last thing before calibrating we need to know um, halfway between those two points so if we get the calculator back up So if we go 32767 minus 16432, divide that by 2, so that's halfway between the two, and then if we put in our uh, starting point, so we want um, Three two seven six seven minus eight one six seven twenty four six hundred is our midpoint twenty four six hundred. So in order to calibrate we go back to our uh, axis graph calibration put in our zero point of minus minus 
minus 32,767, our center point of minus 24600, and our max of minus 16432. Okay, now when we go to zero on the throttle pot, we have zero percent, and when we go to oops, wiring's come undone, it's better. So zero, zero, and all the way around to the stop on the potentiometer is 100%. So that's how you calibrate these. Um, the potentiometer, you would do the same thing with the Hall effect sensor and also the low tail. So, once again, thanks for watching. Um, sorry I forgot to include that in the last uh, part. Um, if you're picking this video up on its own, then um, you know, please uh, check out all the other parts of the series. Um, hopefully there's some interesting stuff in there, useful information. If you want to join along with us and build your own low tail pedals, then um, you know, please subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications when the next part of in the series comes along. Um, you can check out my website, um, gpsimregs.com. Uh, there'll be a, a link to that in the video description. Because on there we're doing uh, arranging a group purchase of components for this um, pedal set. Um, so until the next video, thanks very much for watching.